Hello mathematicians! Today we are going to continue practicing rate of change involving some word problems. Okay. To do this we need to pull out our key information and find our two units that we are looking at. So if I look at our first example, it costs five dollars to park in a parking garage for eight hours. For twelve hours the cost is eleven dollars. What is the rate of change? What are the two units we are comparing in this problem? Dollars and hours. Okay. So when I pull out this information, I need to pull out information about the dollar amount and the hours. So fill some things in. How many dollars do we need? Five dollars goes with how many hours? Eight. What else do we know? How many dollars? Eleven dollars goes with how many hours? Twelve hours. Now we are looking for rate of change, so I have to see how these units change. So 5 to 11, how does that change? Add 6. And 8 to 12, how does that change? Add 4. Okay. Now when I make my ratio over here, do I want dollars per hour or hours per dollar? dollars per hour. And I'm looking at rate of change, so I need to look at how they change. That's what I'm going to put in my piece. So how do the dollars change? By six. How do the hours change? By four. Let's find our unit rate. How much per one hour? Okay, enter that in. Divide by four, divide by four, one point five, and in terms of money, what does that mean? A dollar fifty, and don't forget a label, a dollar fifty per one hour or per hour. The rate of change is a dollar fifty per hour. Let's take a look at another one. The temperature was 76 degrees at noon. By 3 p.m., the temp dropped to 64 degrees. Find the rate of change. So let's pull out our important pieces of information. What units am I talking about? Temperature and time or hours. Temp per hour. Let's fill some things in. What was the temperature? 76 degrees at noon, so at 12. By 3 p.m., the temp dropped to 64 degrees. So fill things in, what goes here? 64 goes with 3 o'clock. Go ahead and finish this one, find the rate of change. Let's see how you did. How did the temperature change? 76 to 64, how did the temperature change? Go ahead and subtract those if you need to. This changed by minusing 12, or dropping 12. And the time from noon to 3, be careful on this, noon to 3 is how many hours? Noon to 3 is 3 hours. Okay, don't put 9, it's a change of 3. Now, do I want degrees per hour or hours per degree when I set this up? Degrees or temp per hour. And we're finding rate of change, so how did the temperature change? Changed by 12 or dropped by 12. And how did the hours change? 
by 3. Find your unit rate. And what did you get? Negative 4, or it dropped. That's all the negative means. It dropped 4 degrees per hour. Make sure you have your label on there. Dropped 4 degrees per hour. Nice job. Let's try another one looking at a graph. Looking at a graph. All right. So we're talking about songs per day, and it says find the slope of the line. Now, slope is just rate of change in a graph. So do I want songs per day or days per song? Songs per day. Now, this is two days, and up is 15 songs. This point is four days and up to 30 songs. So use that information to find the rate of change. Let's see how we did. How did the songs change? 15 to 30. How did the songs change? By 15. And how did the days change? Two to four is by two. What did you do next? Find your unit rate. Divide by two. 7.5. And what does this mean in words? 7.5 songs per day. The rate of change was 7.5 songs per day. The songs changed by 15, the days changed by 2. So the slope of the line is 7.5. Nice job. I have one more for us to look at. Okay. Max read three books. Ten days later he re had read eight books. Find the rate of change. Okay. So, what are the units that are changing? Books and days. Okay. To start out with, he reads three books, so that's where he's already started from. Okay. Ten days later, so on the tenth day, he has read how many books? Eight. So this is like day zero. This is our starting point is three. Okay. Our starting point, or zero days, is three. That's our starting. Ten days later, he has read eight. When I set this up, do I want books per day or days per book? books per day and I want the rate of change so how do the books change? Books change by five so I put a five on top. How do the days change? By ten so I put a ten on bottom. What do we do next? Find our unit rate, and to get from 10 to 1, divide by 10. And that gives you 0.5. What does this mean? 0.5 or half a book per day. Pull out your key information, see how each unit changes, and use that to find your unit rate of change. Nice job today, mathematicians.